Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode with the Lucky Leprechaun. Um, today I have a, another Toy USA Funko Pop mystery box. Um, this one was their $60 damaged mystery box. Um, I believe this one came with four Funko Pops. Um, so they did have some, some pretty neat reels that they did show with their mystery boxes even though they're damaged, they could be damaged. They could just have a small crease. Um, some of them can still be in good shape. So um, it really varies. Um, sometimes you could get one that is pretty crushed or the corners are ruined. Um, the plastic is ruined. But um, overall, I mean, you know, that's the chances that you're willing to take with these. But um, $60, the guaranteed value, I believe, was right around the same. It was either $50 or $60. Typically when they do damaged ones, they say $60, if it's $60, it's going to be, you know, a guaranteed value of $60. So, um, we'll see what we, uh, pull out today. Uh, before we go ahead and look at this, uh, mystery box, go ahead and click subscribe below. Um, after you click subscribe, go ahead and hit the bell, uh, for all my future notifications. So you can see my future videos that I will be posting. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and, you know, see what we have in our box. We do have four of them in here, you know, box, a little bit of damage from the post office, but, you know, but I know they bubble wrap these. I was going to open it from the bottom, um, just so I didn't have to try to cut through the shipping label, but they usually do plastic wrap or not a plastic wrap. They usually do bubble wrap on there. So I'll have a little bit of a harder time trying to get the bubble wrap off. So, all right. So you can see there are four different, you know, Funko Pops within here. Um, so I don't want to give too much of a spoiler away to see what's in there, but go ahead and see what we have. All right. So first one. So one, two, three. Okay. So there's three that are in pop protectors, which is pretty good. They are soft protectors, um, but that's a good sign. So at least there's some, some ones that are worth a little bit of value. So I'm going to go with the first one that does not have a pop protector on it. And there we go. Okay. So this one is going to be Batman number one. It was a exclusive. Um, as you may know, I am a pretty big, um, Batman fan, so, this one is actually, this one's pretty cool. Um, I've been trying to get my hands on all the Batmans, I would have to double check my collection to see if I actually have this one. I was looking up there to see on one of my shelves if I had it, but, you know, Batman. Um, so, box condition on this one, uh, I mean, this, this is a 2015 pop. But you know, there's no, I, mean, I don't see any damage. This is a pretty clean, this is a really clean box uh, for for it being from 2015. So, you know, I think there's just, you know, a, a, I mean, minor, minor damage that you see that's right here. Um, but I mean, it's not even, it's not even that much. So, Batman, pretty, pretty cool pop. All right, so... Took the one out there, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So, okay, so that should be the front. So we have that one. All right, Ant Man, Yellow Jacket. Um, I am a pretty big Marvel collector. Um, this one is the Amazon exclusive. Um, Amazon exclusive Ant Man, Glow in the Dark. I mean, just looking at this, I mean, I don't see. Okay. So I do see just a just a, a tiny bit of damage. I mean, this pop was from this one from. I think it was a, a more of a recent one, but um, overall, you do have like a little nick that's up here on the corner. Um, but besides that, you know, a little bit of shelf wear here on the bottom. Um, but otherwise, it's actually in really good condition. So I mean, I would probably say it's a it's a nine out of ten. Um, nine out of ten for that one. 
that's actually a really really cool pop. I, I don't have this one um, so it will be going into my collection. Um, I have all of these behind me that are actually three deep so I do need to put another one another one of these shelves up so we'll see what we have. Okay so let's go to the furthest one again. Okay that's going to be the back of it so here we go. So it is a Game of Thrones pop. Okay, so I can see you know, a little bit of damage on this one, but it's actually not even not even that much damage. Um, so I'll show you where where I saw it. Just through the protector, I saw just a, a little bit of it. So this was a 2014 pop. I mean, it's it's probably expected to have some some wear on it, but um, as you can see, there is just a little bit of like a, a blemish that's up here, which kind of hard to see on the camera. But the one that I saw through the protector was that one that was right there. Um, but I mean, it's not even, you know, you have a little bit of, of stuff that, that's like right here. But besides that, for a 2014 pop, it's in, in very, very, very good condition. Um... I mean, I wouldn't, very good condition for that one, I, I would say. I, I wouldn't consider that one necessarily too damaged. I mean, unless I'm, I'm missing something, but overall box, box looks really good. So on to our last one. So let's see here. Okay, so that should be the front of it. So let's take a look at this. It is a Freddy Funko. Um, I am actually a super big fan of Freddy Funko. Um, I'm actually trying to complete my collection on getting all of the Freddy Funkos that I can. Uh, this one was a, um, a headquarters exclusive, uh, from 2017. I don't know how many they made on this one. I'm assuming that it's actually not going to be, or that it's going to be at least a considerable amount because typically on the sticker on the front, they would show um, the count for it. So usually with this sticker here, it'll usually say there were, you know, X, X amount made, but as you can see, it just says, um, you know, the exclusive. So box condition on this one is... I mean, besides the bottom just being a little loose, I mean, it's not even that big of a of a of an issue. Box condition on this one is is almost excellent. I mean, I don't see. Okay, so there actually is though. There's a small little crease that's right here, um, but I mean, it's it's very 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 minimal. I mean, it's not even it's not that bad. There's just a little crease in the boxes right there, but I don't think it'll hurt. The value that much but I mean this one is definitely going to be staying in my collection I won't be getting rid of that one so um, it's nice to it's nice to be able to add to my collection but it is getting to be I, I have I have way too many Funko Pops way too many so but we have those so the ones that we have I mean the it looks like that so these are the ones that we have here um, now let me try to, this is a little bit better. So those are the ones that we have, which are all pretty cool. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the value and let's see where we end up with each of these. So let me grab my phone really quick. Um, I will just use the, again, I'll, I'm just going to use the Funko app really quick unless I can't find one of them. Um, so the first one that we're going to do, let's, we're going to look at the Batman. It was a 2015 Funko Pop. Um, and it actually does not find, okay, so this one says that it was exclusive to Diamond Comics, but this one, believe it or not, uh, it was released in 2013, sticker says 2015 on the bottom, but this is only a $10 pop, so, um, you know, kind of a common one, I guess. Um, all right, so $10 for that one. So the next one was the yellow jacket. So let's see how much yellow jacket was, which was the Amazon exclusive. Um, wow, so this is pretty surprising. So $10 only. Um, let's look at the Game of Thrones, which is a 2014 um, 
It was out, out in 2014. So this one, pop price guide value on this is $27 for this pop. You have a, a small little nick that's right there. I mean, I don't think it's going to hurt the value too much, um, but $27 for this. So for these three pops, we are at $47. Um, so to get to $60, um, I mean, we need 13 bucks, and I think this Freddy Funko is going to be worth a little bit more than $13. So um, we're at the 47 and let's take a look at this Freddy Funko. Um, so this Freddy Funko, again, it was exclusive to the Funko shop. It doesn't say how many were there, but trending value on this one is $18. So, you know, not a super expensive um, pop, but overall it was pretty good. So, um, I mean, not bad. Overall, $60.00. Damage mystery box as you can see damage is is pretty minimal um i mean i would say there's there's no damage on the batman there was a, a small amount of damage on the yellow jacket but overall it wasn't you know like crushed boxes or anything like that so um but overall 65 dollars but i will be adding actually a couple of these to my collection i won't be getting rid of them um so overall pretty satisfied with the soy usa box um I, I'm pretty excited with, with what I got. Um, so before we go, again, if there are any mystery boxes that you do want to see unboxed, whether they are Funko related or anything related, if you just want to see a mystery box, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see and I'll get it open um, here or I'll try to get one. And if I can, I'll go ahead and post a video here. Um, and so you guys can see what I got. Um, until then, we will go ahead and see you next time.